Shutterstock Music. I'm not one of those dramatic attention whores that puts up vague videos and posts on social media that I'm in hospital and then don't say why. So after the x-ray, it turns out what I've done is I have nipped my tendon because the watch, the wristwatch I was wearing was on my wrist too tight this past week. And I never wore it to bed, I take it off before I go to bed. Anytime I would have been wearing that there, it would have been a night of drinking where I passed out. They put a plaster and a bandage on my arm. I felt that the bandage and the plaster was unnecessary. I'm not in any pain or anything and I feel perfectly fine. And I'm still able to use my arm, you know, just as I was able to before. But they've probably put the bandage and plaster on to protect my arm from any potential further injury. But apart from that there, I'm good. Here's the bandage. I could have just went around and said I smacked Mike Tyson. You know, come up with a better story. No. I'll just tell the truth. You may lose it, no problem. Probably shouldn't do that, but, you know, fuck it. Still works. I'm good. If anything, this bandage and the plaster is more of a nuisance. It's itchy, it's irritating. Mm. I've loosened it and strengthened it again. I'm just, I'm, okay, I'm, not, I'm just completely like another one right now. But th that's about it. The bandage is more of a nuisance than the actual tendon. Yep. I have to keep this fucking bandage on for the next eight days. <sighs> I don't think I mentioned that whenever they've done the x ray, they could see that underneath my skin is all inflamed. And hence why there's the swelling. The top, the surface of my skin, as you saw, is just clear by the lumps, but underneath it, it's all irritated, and I don't feel a thing, apart from the bandage, the plaster, rubbing against my skin and being a nuisance. That's the plaster there, it's being a nuisance. Look at all the lines from the bandage on my wrist, arm even. Yeah, I'd love to just rip that off. It is such an inconvenience to wear. I'm gonna take a shower and I can't get this wet. So what I have to do, wrap a bag around it. Fun times, not the first time I've done it, I've done it years ago. Whenever I dislocated my finger, I had to wear a bag because I couldn't get my stitches wet. Mm, it's a bit of a nuisance. Took a couple of attempts, but got it. The tricky part is tightening it. Oh, and there's a nice wee hole there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I'll just make sure that nothing is in there. There we go. There we go. Dripping, soaking. Bag has got wet. That was inevitable. Well, the water's going to splash off me and onto the bag. And the bandage is completely dry. Shutter sock music. Yeah. You can see there. The water was reaching it. <sighs> so awkward if you're washing yourself in the shower and you've got a plastic bag, you only use one hand. My hair is considerably long-ish and there's layers I have to wash, go through. And doing it with two hands is okay, but one hand and then the rest of your body? Mm. Nine days have passed since I got this little bandage on my arm. I'm gonna take it off now and see how my wrist looks. Oh. Alright, my favorite part. Turn this off. Ow! <laughs> that hurt, but I'm not gonna complain. Alright. There we go. Look at that. Oh, I kind of scratched it. Mm. You know what? Lumps are still there.
What the fuck? I wonder if just we're in the bandage man done that. You know, it actually doesn't look as bad. I want to do this. It's still a bit of swaying, but you know, it looks a bit better than what it did. Maybe I should just put the new plaster on the bandage back on. What my parents just going for? You know, it's just it's been nipped. It doesn't give me any grief. I just went and got checked immediately because whenever lumps show up in the body, they typically are not a good sign. And you know, I just thought better to say than sorry.